What makes A-level biology so difficult is not only are you faced with having to learn a huge amount of content, what's even harder is developing an exam technique that allows you to translate this knowledge into marks in the exam. We all know how specific the mark schemes in biology can be. This is something I really struggled with when I was doing A-level biology, but eventually I got the hang of it and managed to bag the A star. So my name's Olivia and in this video I'm going to share with you the tricks and methods that I used to do well in A-level biology. I sat my A-level exams in 2017. I was the first year to sit the new spec, I did AQA and I've been tutoring ever since, alongside studying for a biomedical science degree at the University of Birmingham. I really believe that anyone can do well in A-level biology. And despite what you might think, it's not about being clever. I've seen students go from E's to A's just by being strategic, working smart and revising effectively. And of course you need to work hard too, but I'm not here to tell you that, you already know it. So firstly, and most importantly, the specification. This is something that every exam board releases, and you can use it as a checklist of everything you need to know. It's important not to miss out any sentence, because if it's in the spec, it could be in your exam. It's also useful when you're trying to make your notes, because it can help guide how much detail you need to bother learning each topic in. If it's not in the spec, you don't need to know it. Having a good understanding of exactly what's on the spec is also useful for application questions. You can work out exactly what part of the specification you're being tested on and then figure out all the key points and words that you need to include to get the marks. Following on from this, you need to make sure you're making effective summary notes throughout the year. The problem with textbooks is they can have so much information in and a lot of this you don't even really need to know. You need to be able to break it down into what you really need to know based on the specification. So title your notes by the specification points and write the key points under each of these. And you can use a range of resources to do this. But it's important that you really understand each topic rather than just copying out of a book. This way, application questions will be much easier and you won't have to try so hard when memorising things. Trying to teach someone else a topic can be a really effective way of learning. So overall, don't rely on your textbooks. It's not the most effective way to revise. So that they're easy to remember, you should try and keep your summary notes concise, use bullet points, highlight keywords, and don't forget to make sure you're using your own words. There's no point just copying out from a book. Typing up your notes as you make them throughout the year can also be useful, so you've got your own sort of online revision booklet. If you save them online on something like OneDrive or Google Docs, you'll be able to access them anywhere, anytime. It's also much easier to keep them neat this way. They'll be easy to read and you won't have to waste time starting over each time you go wrong or need to add stuff. So now exam questions. I'm sure you already know that it's really important that you do lots of exam questions for each topic. But when you mark your answers, make sure you're analysing where you're losing the marks. Look for patterns in the mark schemes year on year and try and incorporate these mark scheme points into your summary notes so you're learning exactly what you need to get you the marks in the exam. Try and do exam questions by topic and save the full papers for nearer to your exam. As I said, make sure you're analysing where you're losing the marks. Is it that your understanding is lacking or are you just not putting the right keywords to get the points on the mark scheme? Perhaps you struggle with data questions or evaluate questions. To help with these sorts of questions, it can be useful to look for common themes in the mark schemes and compile this all together in your own exam technique tips booklet. You can add to this throughout the year. So there we go. That's how I did it and they're my tips. I hope you find it useful.